Hey, I wanted to make a small video about certain stuff that happened in the recent uh, days. And one topic that a lot of people are interested in is this um, frequency modulation topic, where I showed you um, basically exponential frequency modulation, where you drag the audio out of a sine wave oscillator into the pitch input jack. So you modulate with the audio the pitch of a oscillator. And that's, that's not real frequency modulation. It's still frequency modulation, but it's called more or less exponential frequency modulation because you have um, the, you uh, modulate the notes and the notes have a different have different step size than a linear frequency curve. So you have more like an exponential curve uh, in uh, in the pitch or in the frequency uh, modulation. And um, yeah, what people want is basically linear frequency modulation where you modulate the frequency and you can only do that with the modulate out and you can modulate this uh, this slider here which is the frequency and not the pitch and the problem with that is that the range of these frequencies here are not, not that high it's only 27 hertz um, uh, minus uh, negative and positive so um, basically you can't do real um, frequency modulation in the grid right now you can try to use this method here which i shown you and put something in between to um, basically neutralize the, the, the curve um, or the, the pitch mapping uh, from the notes to the frequencies to get to get a real uh, linear um, curve basically but it's very hard to do and um, um, phase modulation is much more easier to do but it's still called phase modulation um, there's also I think a lot of confusion also for myself that a lot of synths actually do phase modulation and they they are called frequency modulation but they do phase modulation like DX7 I heard and uh, FM8 and so on so uh, it, it, it's basically it says they do FM but they really do PM and yeah that's 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 basically that you always can learn so um, I'm not so a technical person I'm more like a musical person I do music I don't create instruments and yeah that I wanted to put put this out to the show basically what I um, where I did it wrong or to um, yeah to show you people what's what's going on with this topic and um, yeah there's this video and you can look it up on on youtube i put a link in the description from audio digital and he explains it very well um, it's a good video and yeah uh, link in the description click it and um, yeah leave a comment there and in all cases a thumbs up I also want to mention the phase 4 synthesizer is, is really great uh, for FM type of sounds and I just discovered this, that you have even um, at the end here a soft clip and I really like soft clips for bass sounds when you have m kind of these uh, harsh um, uh, mid-range bass sounds in dubstep or drum bass and you can see here when I, you have a nice sine wave here and when you turn this knob up you get at the top you get a nice soft clip and that's really great for nasty bass sounds I really love the phase 4 it's basically everything in there that you need for uh, FM type of sounds and um, when phase 4 released uh, later last year I think um, I completely uh, forgot that I have FM8 installed. It's that good. It's really great synthesizer. It's everything in there you need to make great sounds. And yeah, I, I highly encourage you to use Phase 4. It's a really great synth. The next uh, thing I want to talk about is my EP, which released uh, yesterday. And it's on Bandcamp. There's also a link in the description. I released a small uh, video with some kaleidoscope actions inside um, 
from one of the tracks and yeah i put a link in the description you can um, view it on or here are some snippets on bandcamp and yeah it's only five euros so you can buy it <laughs> and yeah on that topic i want to talk about this video i created and how i created it because some people ask me how i do video and audio stuff how i basically import video inside Bitwig to create the music for that also but uh, it's actually pretty simple I create the music first and then I export this music and then I cut the video to the music because I think when you start with the video first um, the video waits so much or brings so much uh, stuff into your music um, so you completely lose your focus on the music and shift it towards the, the video so um, so you basically watch a video and then you want to have certain events inside this video reflected in the music so you create sounds uh, additional sounds because you want to have um, reflected this event in in the sound so that's not what I, what I want to do I want to create music first and then I cut the video to that and how I do it is basically pretty simple. I go inside Bitwig uh, and load my track and then I select one bar or two bars or half a bar, something like that. And then I export this clip empty as a WAV file. So I have a completely silent WAV file and that um, is imported inside Final Cut here. As you can see at the bottom here, I have a lot of one bar, uh, 85 ppm, uh, wave, empty wave samples. And then I can use that to s uh, snap my, my videos to it. So you can basically have like a, a grid, a BPM grid or bar grid inside Final Cut because there's it's not, nothing like that inside Final Cut. You have only um, time lines basically or seconds and minutes and 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 with using that empty empty wave files you have a nice bpm crit and every time something happens or a bar is, bar is basically over then a scene is changing and then you get this rhythmic feel um, So it's a pretty nice way of creating rhythmic videos and yeah I want to basically focus on the music first and then create the, uh, the video to that music. I think it's much much better for the music than the other way around. Yeah and these snippets, these video snippets here are basically <coughs> uh, some different footage from uh, free video sites or Vimeo stuff I like very basic simple stuff like water or um, smoke cities something like that and I use these effects here inside Final Cut like a lightoscope and mirroring stuff pretty simple, st simple stuff layer stuff on top of each other and then you create visual uh, pleasing uh, videos a little bit of lens flares on lens flares on top and um, yeah that's that's basically it then I want to give you an update on the gravity modulator uh, inside the Bitwig discord which is highly active since the beta released um, Emma created a much much better version of the gravity patch as you can see here uh, it's much much simpler and it uh, utilizes an ATSR for the smoothing and uh, it, works, it works really great and um, I have this patch inside my GitHub repository so you can download it there and um, try it out um, 
you have your base value and then use this value to change the modulation or some values and if you release the knob then it goes back to the ground value yeah and that's it for this video uh, thank you to everyone who commented under my videos uh, explained um, different topics or ask questions and people who try to make patches better and yeah it helps a lot to understand this new grid thing inside Bitwig Studio and I really like the idea that we as a community create stuff together and help each other out and um, it's uh, it's really fun so uh, yeah thank you thank you for watching and I put all the links um, from this video in the description below and um, I see you in the next video thank you and bye